good day sir we are from base criminology to block b the next presenter of this report which is the door security and common residential door types alarm door security the term door security or door security gate may refer to any of a range of measures used to straighten doors against door breaching ram raiding and lock picking and prevent crimes such as burglary and home invasions door security is used in commercial and government buildings as well as in residential settings good day sir my name is gumbo tatar jatornino criminology second year of the university campus we have the six types of door security first Types of door security is the card readers. Card reader, card readers is an access control system. is the first step in protecting your people, property, and assets. With tracking and retracking door, gate, or other entry point access to a property, building, or room to authorize persons. With an access security system, you know exactly who enters a building or room. When they enter and what door they use, access system include analytics that allow you to track where your employees are received, reports, or suspicious activity, such as attempts to access restricted areas. Next, we have the keypad controls. What is keypad access controls? A keypad is a keyless access control system that lets you control who can and cannot enter a building or room. Keypad have numbered buttons or touchscreen interface with numbers, which allows authorized users to enter numeric PIN code to gain access. Sir, I am the third reporter. I am GP Ismail BCSR. And I would like to explain further about the third types of door security and the fourth types of door security, the radio transmitters and magnetic locks. At first, we would like to tackle the radio transmitters. Radio trans transmitters, security door, radio transmitters easily installs at any entry point to enable visitors to announce their arrival. The long range performance of the RT1080 allows radio equipped personnel to receive the call from anywhere in the building and instantly answer back using portable two-way radio or desktop-based station or intercom. Next is the magnetic locks. The magnetic door locks or is a lock that uses an electric current to produce the magnetic force due to the increased strength because of current the doors can withstand pressure, so they can't they can't be forced open without use of confirmed access method. Good day, sir. My name is Vincerin Cago. The next security system is the phone entry system. Security door radio transmitters easily installs at any entry point to enable visitors to announce their arrival. The long-range performance of the RT-1080 allows radio equip personnel to receive the call from anywhere in the building and instantly answer back using a portable two-way radio or desktop-based station intercom. The next is the loop detectors. A magnetic door lock is a lock that uses an electric current to produce the magnetic force. Due to the increased strength because of the current, the doors can withstand pressure so they can be forced open without use of the confirmed access method. Good day sir, my name is Jimar Aragargo. The next topic is the common presidential door types. First is the hinge doors. Hinge doors are the most common type of passage do door in homes, offices, commercial buildings, and structures. These doors hang from a set of brackets held together with pins. The pins allow the doors to pivot and swing open and close. Lighter doors must require just two hinge, while heavier door might require three or four. 
Pinch doors come in a variety of materials and styles. Next is the sliding doors. Sliding doors hang from or sit inside the truck and glide left on the or right rather than swing in or out. Common places to find sliding doors are closets where hollow wood doors or glass doors covered with mirrors are popular or exterior openings between living spaces and porches or deck decks, typically fiberglass and glass. Next is the double door. The double door category includes mini door consisting of two side-by-side -side hinge doors that meet in the middle of a frame. These doors can include French style door full of glass or wood doors separating a formal living room from a dining room. So, good day, good day, sir. My name is Jemini C. Galindo. So, this is the continuation with the previous reporter. So, the next one is the pocket doors. In many older homes, pocket doors separated interior spaces. These doors operate like sliding doors, except that they glide within the wall. This gives the home a way to separate a space effectively without giving up floor space for a hinge door's outward swing. These were common features separating dining rooms, bathrooms, pantry spaces, and other areas within the older homes. These doors can be double or single, but they, they are most commonly wood. So the next one is the bifold doors. For many closet openings and passageways between casual living areas, bifold doors are a popular choice rather than only swinging on hinges or simply sliding back and forth. These doors are a combination of both. These doors consist of two thinner doors attached with a hinge in the middle. One door is anchored in place while the other rides in a track like a sliding door. As the door opens, the hinge edge swings in the room while the sliding edge slides toward the anchored edge, folding the door in half. This allows for the large door opening to take up less floor space with the door open. So the next one is the pivot doors. There's a type of of a swinging door that doesn't utilize typical hinge, hinges and they're known as a pivot, pivot doors. These doors sit atop a pin protruding from hardware in the floor, while another pin in the top of the jam drops into a recess in the top of the floor. The door pivots on the on those pins creating a smooth Slick opening action. These doors are typically wooden but can be still in commercial settings. Uh, good day, sir. I am Jota Nibdao, a Bachelor of Science in Criminology to Black B. And I am the next presenter and my topic is all about alarms. Uh, when we see alarms, it is designed to warn against vulgaries or intruders or the potential threats in our residence. Okay? It, it gives warning to the resident or to the people of owner that there is someone or the unwanted guest wanted to enter our residence okay okay that is alarm that's why we have the protective alarms when we say protective alarms it is one of the uh, most important barriers in security okay it assess the security in detecting impeding or deterring the potential security threat in the installation Basically, it is a function is to alert the security personnel for the attempt of the intrusion into the protected area or building or compound. Once the intruder tampers the security, okay, the beam or the radiated waves of the alarm system, uh, it will activate the alarm signal. Okay? Uh, on the other hand, it uses the communication equipment in the installation. It helps uh, the security in upgrading, in operational efficiency and effectiveness okay uh, it has a uh, three basic parts of alarm system namely the sensor or the trigger device second is the uh, transmission line the third is the enunciator or the annunciate annunciator okay number one is the sensor or the trigger device okay it emits the aural or the visual signals or both uh, 
uh, when an alarm sensor detects an event that warrants or protection officer attention, it immediately transmits a message back to the central monitoring station or a transmission medium is simply the method by which the message is carried or the signals may be uh, carried by a variety of solid materials or may pass through the air itself. Okay? It is a sensor or like it, it only detects uh, when someone passes by or the aural or the visual signals. Okay? It only uh, it only detect and uh, move. Okay? That is the sensor or trigger device. That's all. Good day, sir. My name is Justin Ingamaya. I'm the next supporter. The second basic part of alarm system is the transmission line, a circuit which transmits a message to a signaling, system, signaling apparatus. In a transmission line, security system includes a transmission line of carrying alarm information from a list one protected area to a central monitoring area that is remote from the protected area. Alarm source means including intrusion detector means a said protected area. And the third and the third basic parts of alarm system is the enunciator and annunciator. It is the signaling system, uh, signaling system that indicates the alarm. Enunciator in indicates the exact location of alarm or problem in the system which such as motion, faulted doors, or windows or glass breakage. The annunciator panel is the place to go to find out where an alarm has been set off or to see the status of the security sensors and specific location around the premises. Good day sir, my name is Kent Winzil Tocomento. So this is the next topic, types of protective alarm system. So the first one is the central station system. So, a type of alarm where the control station is located outside the plant or installation. When the alarm is sounded or actuated by a subscriber, the central station notifies the police, police and other public safety agencies. So, the second is the proprietary system. Centralized monitor of, a, of the proprietary alarm system is located in the industrial firm film itself with a duty operator in case of alarm the duty operator calls whatever the primary need firefighters police and ambulance or a bomb disposal unit that's also good day, sir my name is Ed edmin bilon caros and i am the next next reporter local alarm this system consists of bringing up a visual or audible alarm near the near the object to be protected. When an intruder tries to pry a window, the alarm threat goes off. The next is auxiliary alarm. Company own al alarm systems with a unit in the nearest police station so that in case of need, direct, direct call is possible. The company maintains the equipment and lies, lines both for the company and those in the police, fire, and other emergency agencies by special arrangement radio, landlines, or cell phone can avail of, of the auxiliary system. The next topic is kind of alarms. The first is audio detention device. It will detect any sounds caused by attempted force entry. A supersonic microphone speaker sensor is installed in wall, ceiling, and floors of uh, the protected area. Good day, sir. I'm David Kael Kalingin, the screen to Block B. So, today I'm going to discuss some of the kinds of alarms. So, the first is vibration detection device. It will detect any vibration caused by attempted force entry. A vibration sens sensitive sensor is attached to walls, ceilings, or floors of the protected area. So, this vibration detection device, it is a big help for the people to secure their surroundings, also their house, to avoid entering to the bad person. A vibration, sens 
A vibration sensor is a device that measures the amount of the frequency of vibration in a given system. So it is very useful to detect the bad people and avoid your life in danger. So the next kinds of alarm is metallic or foil wire. It will detect any action that moves the foil or wire and electrically charged strips of tin foil or wire is used indoors, windows, or glass surfaces of the protected area. So, metallic foil are wrapping papers offer a simple and affordable way to add lustrous look of metal to any paintable surface so um, it is very useful because it can uh, it is easy for the homeowner to to notice what is inside in their house so it's very useful and very efficient that should be all thank you good afternoon sir I'm BS Cream to Black B uh, this is my group reporting group 2 uh, uh, first, the laser beam alarm. Uh, laser beam uh, emitter floods a uh, wall or fencing with a beam so that when this beam is disturbed by a physical object, an alarm is activated. Advantages of a laser security system. A uh, laser security system can be used to protect yourself, your family, and your property. Uh, laser security systems are becoming more affordable for uh, homeowners in today's society since they uh, can provide security without expensive installation cost. Uh, laser beams typically cost less than uh, within the price of entry being so low, it's small. So, wonder that laser security systems are increasing in popularity. And the next is uh, the photoelectric or electric eye uh, device. So, an invisible or visible beam is emitted and when this is disturbed or when an intruder breaks contact with the beam, it will activate the alarm. So, therefore, an electric eye is a photo dictator used for detecting obstruction of a light beam. Uh, an example is the door safety system used in a garage door openers that use a light transmitter and receiver at the bottom of, of the door to prevent closing if there is any obstruction in the way that breaks the light beam. And how does an electric eye work? So, into my research, they use uh, cathode tubes that release electrons in the presence of light, activating or deactivating a connected electrical circuit. The term electric eye was uh, used to describe device by comparing it to an eye which also responds to light. Other terms include magic lamp and magic eye. And how does photoelectric sensor work? A photoelectric sensor consists primarily for an emitter for emitting light and a receiver for receiving light. When emitted light is interrupted or reflected by the sensing object, it changes the amount of the light that arrives at the receiver. The receiver detects this change and converts it to an electric output, uh, electrical output.